not opposed to the three seed so much, right? I mean, the three seed, whatever. It's where they are. I think Gino might be happy. I, I think the fans might be happy. I mean, compared to looking at the opposite side, what Iowa has to go through, really. I mean, clearly you don't play everybody in the bracket, right? You right, only have right. the teams that you have. But I think UConn got the best bracket, to be honest. The, the three seeding, eh, that was to be expected, kind of. I think all in all, UConn got a pretty good draw where they are, with the exception of you can't overlook people, right? Jackson right. State. They're one of those teams that you can't sleep on Jackson State. Mm -hmm. They went undefeated in their conference. Three out of their six losses are teams that are currently in the top 15. Right. So it's one game at a time for yeah. this team. Right, and I agree, Kara. Like, and, and Chels, to your question, I, I think you kind of got a pretty good draw. I mean, they for them to advance this year, Far, you know, they have to have the right matchups. And yeah. right now, there's so many top teams in that Albany region. The fact that they're out in Portland, I think, is better for them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't think they were thrilled to travel all that distance, but they got to win these first two games in stores. Fortunately for them, they're playing in stores. As Kara said, they got a big matchup against Jackson State. Yeah. And then a second round game, which would be an interesting one as well. Meg, who do you think is UConn's toughest challenge in this bracket? Well, you guys know me. I'm superstitious. So <laughs> I, you got to go one game at a time. And Gary, yeah. you talked about Jackson State. They got to get through that. They're athletic. They're tough. They're yeah. well coached. But I think if the numbers hold, Syracuse should beat the Auburn Arizona, Arizona mm -hmm. playing game. So Syracuse is a really good team. They're a six seed. They play well. They got a great little five five guard. Deja Fair. Deja Fair. Yeah. Deja yeah. Fair. Averaging like twenty two. Five yeah. five yeah. graduate guard. So yeah, she's, she's a graduate. Incredible. Right? Yeah. And she is great in the little. second half. Yeah. You know, she comes on strong in the second half. That's gonna be a really tough matchup should you kind of advance to that. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Ohio State, I said it last year, unfortunately it jinxed them. They did lose to Ohio State. I'm sure they would like to have a much better game. Now they do have number five going for them this year with Paige Becker. So I think it's going to be a very different game. They have lots of people who can handle the basketball and break their press. Ohio State's known for their defense and their pressing. So I think now that there's three points, you, you have a KK Arnold, right? You have Nika, you have Paige. I think they handle that press better and they have Paige back. The thing is, Ohio State is they've lost some games, right? They lost to Iowa yep. and Maryland at the end of the season. So I think I think they are hungry to kind of get a win in this tournament and go far. But Ohio State is a team that clearly could be a problem getting to the number one seed. Yeah, and I think I'm looking <laughs> way too far ahead. But if the Huskies, we have to, if, that's our job. That's what we right? do. Yeah. If the Huskies do advance to the Elite Eight, they could see USC and Juju Watkins. Yeah. That could be a big challenge for them. <sighs>